Inside of our event model, we are now going to add a new date field. This field will be of name starts and have the ID of starts as well. You can choose to add a description, allow multiple values or even localize this field. You can also choose to make the field required or unique, hide the field from content editors or set an initial value. And you'll see here you can select a date from that picker. Once we've added the field, we'll now go ahead and create some content. We'll select the date in the future using the built-in date picker. Then we'll go ahead and save and publish. Now inside of our API Playground, let's go ahead and query for all of our events. We'll get the ID and starts fields. You'll see we have the ID automatically generated by GraphCMS and our new starts field. We can also choose to mutate data in the same way as you can anything else in GraphCMS. If we choose to use the create event mutation and provide the value for our starts field and pass it the correct date format, and this date is of the ISO 8601 standard. This will then create the object or the content entry in GraphCMS and return that date. Then if we make a query to get all of our events, you should now see we have both of those events returned. So no matter where you are using your date field, in this case, we are using the browser internationalization library to present off date in a friendly format. We can use this to display some long formats, include or exclude the date, the month, the year, uh, we can format this however we liked, and it's totally agnostic to your front end. Here, I'm just doing this in the console for demonstration purposes.